Hi there, Bruce Simpson again. Sorry, another talking head video. What can I say? It's Friday and can't go flying until the weekend because there's people at the school. But uh, I wanted to update you. There's a bit of a quandary, but I'm, I'm confused. It doesn't happen often, but I'm confused because recently, in fact, this week, one of the papers in New Zealand published a story on my sense and avoid activities and the problems I've been having with the local council and CAA. There's a link to that story in the description of this video. Now, if you look carefully in that story, you'll see that when questioned, CAA stated that uh, my, the transmissions I was planning on making to test my sense and avoid would have posed an unacceptable risk to the safety of RC jets. And these jets are very fast and they're dangerous because they're fast and heavy. So couldn't possibly have me doing my sense and avoid testing here because it would make it too dangerous to fly the model jets. And if you look carefully, you'll also see that the transmissions I was planning on making were just one sixth the strength of a smartphone. You know, the smartphone, everyone carries a smartphone. Uh, just one sixth of that strength. Now, if you go out there when the people are flying the RC jets, you'll find them flying with a smartphone in their pocket, which transmits six times more power than the gear I was going to be using here and on the same frequencies. And of course you'll find in the pits, or um, well, the observer standing beside the person, if they've got one, standing beside the person flying the very fast and dangerous jet will also have a smartphone in their pocket, also transmitting at six times the power I was planning on using. And probably the guy who's um, holding the radio will have a smartphone in his pocket transmitting at six times the power I'm transmitting. And also in the pits, just a few metres away, there'll probably be half a dozen or a dozen other people with smartphones in their pockets, all transmitting at six times the power I was transmitting. And if you go just a few more metres, uh, over towards town, you'll find there's a primary school with a Wi-Fi router that's probably transmitting at, I don't know, maybe 20 times the power I, was trans I intended to transmit on. And if you go along the houses that are just a few hundred metres away, you'll probably find that every second one has a Wi-Fi router there, which is also transmitting at 10 times more power than I intended to use. And you'll probably also find baby monitors, which transmit um, analog signals, which are even worse because they, they don't, they're not spread spectrum, not multiplex, not sort of just transmitting briefly, they transmit continuously at probably power levels that are maybe 20 times greater than I was planning on using. And if you go to the go-kart club, um, when they have a meeting there, I have my spectrum analyzer out and I've had a look and they must have a lot of Wi-Fi gear over there because the noise floor just goes through the roof. So the power levels there, combined power levels, are probably 100 times what I was planning to use. And if you go to the dirt bike track at the other end of the runway over which the jets fly, you'll find that when they're out there, there's people with smartphones. And again, the power levels are significantly, you know, talking orders of magnitude higher than I intend to broadcast, but apparently that's all safe. Um, I cannot transmit to do my testing because at one sixth the power of a mobile phone, smartphone, Wi-Fi, um, it's far too dangerous to fly jets with me transmitting at one sixth the power of a smartphone. But you can have dozens, scores, maybe even hundreds of other pieces of Wi-Fi equipment, all transmitting individually at high levels that I'm transmitting, and with a combined transmission power, many orders of magnitude that I'm transmitting, you can have baby monitors which are transmitting continuously, um, completely obliterating the band, and that's quite safe, that doesn't affect the jets. How, how does that work? I'm, I'm a little bit lost. So from this, I, I can't really understand what CAA are saying. Are they saying that there shouldn't be any model jet flying here because there's no effective way to police cell phones and Wi-Fi routers and things? Are they saying that, you know, if, if this level of power is enough to make it too dangerous to fly model jets, then surely this level of power has got to make it worse? No, but they're not saying that, are they? And neither is the council. Are they saying that it only me, it's just me, it's just that I can't transmit because nobody, you know, because I'm the guy that's criticised people. Is it simply, again, an abuse of power? What do you think? Read the article. Look at the facts. Decide for yourself how on earth it can be that my very low level transmissions on the 2. and totally legal transmissions on the 2.4 gig band are somehow unsafe while all the other people, even the people flying the models with smartphones just a matter of inches away from their transmitters, that's not unsafe. That won't affect them. What the hell's going on? It seems I just, as I I'm very confused by this. It wouldn't, couldn't possibly be that CAA and the local council are being disingenuous about this whole thing and simply using the issue of safety again to try and stop me doing stuff. That would never happen. Not in a free and open democracy like New Zealand. It could never happen, surely. I'd be interested to hear what your opinions are on this, actually. Read the article, look at the facts, tell me what you think. And by the way, I have asked the council, will you be banning cell phones and Wi-Fi routers at and in the vicinity of the airfield? They seem to have ignored that question. So maybe you'd like to ask them. Again, why not ask CAA? Ask them, surely, if this 
guy's transmissions at one sixth the power of a cell phone, place these RC jets in such jeopardy in a way that could endanger public safety, then surely you have an obligation to ban all Wi-Fi devices, including smartphones and routers, from the airfield. Or ban the jets. There you go. Just thought I'd enlighten you on that. Interesting times, isn't it? And remember, all I want to do is fly RC models, enjoy the hobby, share that fun with you guys, promote the hobby, get new people into it, help the people that are into it. What an evil thing it is that people in power seem to need to act in the way they've clearly acted to stop me doing it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.